I'm going to start with House of Color, black, base coat. It's a two to one ratio and it's already ready to spray. Don't forget to check down in the description. I have a link to my Facebook. Um, I have a link to my personal website. And there's also a list of all the items I use that you guys can get uh, through Amazon. I have my blanks, the epoxy I use, um, the ready to mix paints. Everything that I use you can find down in the description. Alright, the black is dry. What I did, I went and put, um, they're actually the cryptic camo stencils on this. So everywhere that the stencil is will remain black and now for the fun part going to do a house of color white base coat ready to spray two to one stencils off and now if you wanted to uh, where the white bled up underneath a little bit you could touch that up but I personally like it it gives it a little bit more detail and uh, I think it turned out great but what I am going to do I'm going to black out the eyes and then we'll show you the super magic part to really make this come to life now for the magic part. This is a blue to red chameleon ready to spray by House of Color. And what it's going to do, when I spray it over this whole lure, it's going to make this white almost look pearl, like a, like a pearl. And all these black spots, they're all going to shift and change colors from blue to a little bit of purple to a red. And it's going to look fantastic out in the sunlight.
to apply. Now this uh, chameleon paint, it doesn't dry quite as fast as the base color, so you have to give it a few seconds. But that's all it takes, it's just a few seconds, and then you can go back over and hit it again. If you don't want any running on it, this stuff is very expensive, so you don't want to waste it either. for the green to purple chameleon you can already see it in the bottle I'm just gonna do just gonna do the whole back a little bit on the sides of this lure with this color You can definitely see you know, at all the different angles, all the colors, but it's not even cleared yet. Once the once the epoxy clears on it, it's just gonna shine like crazy out in the sun, and it's gonna look so good in the water. So I'm going to go ahead and put the eyes and epoxy on it, and I will come back and show you what it looks like when it has everything on it with the gear and everything. So this is the Pied Ball Pearl Sunfish. And it looks pretty cool out in the sun. You can see its spots changing. You can see the pearl effect all through the body. Really turned out really turned out pretty good kind of looks like a uh, one of those groupers saltwater grouper a little bit but yeah that's uh, that's how it turned out hopefully you can see all this on camera which you should it's we're out in the sunlight and it's uh, it's changing the colors really well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like. And don't forget to share and comment down below.